Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. <coughs> this is Aishwarya. The following class is for class 5, subject EBS, Environmental Studies. Lesson 5, Natural Resources, Part 2. In the part 1 of the lesson, we learned what are the different natural resources. Okay. Natural resources means the resources that we get from the earth. Right? Like uh, water, soil, air, minerals, plants, animals, all these things come under the different resources, uh, different natural resources. Then we learnt what are renewable resources. Resources that are continuously available over a period of human lifetime. These resources are called renewable resources. Re I repeat, resources that are continuously available only sorry, over a period of human lifetime. These resources are called renewable resources. Example, solar energy, air, water, soil, forest, etc. These things are always available for us, right? Then we saw what are non-renewable resources. Non-renewable resources means the resources which cannot be renewed. That means it is not available or it can get exhausted. If we continuously use these resources, they will get exhausted. Examples of non-renewable resources are coal, petrol, diesel and natural gas. These are the examples of uh, non-renewable resources. Now, we are going to learn about some of the renewable resources. We are going to learn solar energy and soil as our renewable resources in this video. So, solar energy means the solar energy is the energy obtained from the sun. The solar energy is the energy obtained from the sun. Sun is the main source of heat and light to the earth. Plants prepare food using the solar energy. We get, uh, as you know, that we get heat and light from the sun. It is the main source of our, um, of our energy. Now, you know that plants prepare food also using the solar energy. When there is no sun, they cannot prepare any food. Now, here are some activities done using the solar energy. As, uh, as heat for making hot water, heating buildings and cooking. Uh, you have, you must have, must have seen solar uh, rice cooker. Okay, uh, it, it stores the solar energy and uh, uses it for cooking the rice. Then uh, heating the buildings. Heating buildings means to um, when the temperature is extremely low outside, not in our country, but in other countries when the uh, weather conditions, when the climate is extremely cold, the solar heaters are used to heat the buildings. So that uh, the water does not freeze in the building and other different things. And to make hot water, we also use solar water heaters, right? So that solar water heater is also uses the solar energy. Now to generate electricity with solar cells or heat engines, we, uh, with the heat engines or the solar cells, we can generate electricity. The other way of generating electricity is by, uh, is by using the turbines in the waterfalls and the windmills. There only we can generate electricity. Here also we can generate the electricity using the solar cells to take the salt away from the sea water. Uh, now to extraction of sea uh, extraction of salt, we take the salt water and keep it for drying up. Okay, all the water gets evaporated and the salt is left behind. So there also we use uh, solar energy. To use sun rays for drying clothes and towels. This is everyday use in our daily life, right? We use the sun rays for drying clothes and towels. It is used by plants for the process of photosynthesis. Plants are the producers in our ecosystem. We get our food from the plants itself. They are the main source of our energy, right? They are the main source of our food. Anything, any animals, they are all dependent on the plants for our food. How do plants produce 
uh, how do plants produce uh, a food they produce food by photo the process called photosynthesis photosynthesis means there also they use the uh, they use the solar energy to make the food now here are some pictures of the solar panels okay we can convert the uh, solar energy into electricity and charge the electric cars and use them as uh, and use the cars for traveling then you will learn more about solar energy in the unit amazing energy in the next and the Uh, coming up lesson amazing energy there you will learn more uses and more activities that can be done using the solar energy right then the other natural resource sorry no renewable resources like air and water are also natural resources you will know more about them in the next unit that means you will have a detailed study about them for now we are only learning about the solar energy next is the soil what what comes to your mind when you say soil we walk on soil we live on soil soil is a renewable resources like water so so a soil is also renewable resource like water soil is necessary for the growth of plant you already know that plants get water from salt water and salts required uh, to prepare their food from the soil right they the plants uh, are the main source of our food and where do they get minerals and water they get it from the soil you will know more in detail about soil in a higher classes you have uh, already learned about um, now uh, let me say this what is a crust the outermost rocky layer of the earth is known as crust the outermost rocky layer of the earth is known as crust c r u s t soil is the thin top layer of the crust that's the difference between the crust and the soil our earth is outermost rocky layer of the earth is known as the crust and the soil is the thin top layer of the crust now how the formation of soil so we'll move on to formation of soil soil is formed by weathering of rocks by uh, flowing water blowing wind and other organisms here in the picture you can see that it is uh, the first picture the it shows that it is completely uh, rocky layer right there is a lot of activities of the sun there is rain and then it breaks into smaller rocks right in the second picture you can see there are smaller rocks and small plants have grown then in the third picture you can see there are big plants and the uh, rocks have become thinner and thinner and in the fourth picture you can see how the different layers of soil have formed by the activity of uh, flowing of water rain blowing wind and uh, other organisms like too much of sun all these things are the reasons for the so formation of soil now this formation of soil takes place it it takes nearly 500 to 1500 years for the formation of about 3 cm of soil just to form the 3 cm of soil it takes about 500 to 1500 years not 1500 minutes it's 1500 years now uh, you must also think where because the formation of soil is very hard the loss of soil is very easy the loss of top soil for the uh, following reasons when the wind is stormy when there is water current after rain when the water keeps flowing it takes away the top soil from with it right the loss of the top soil is called soil erosion what happens if there is no top soil the top soil is the main content of the mineral salt water everything is present in the top soil which is very necessary for the plants to grow if there is loss of this top soil what happens the plants do not grow so the loss of top soil is called the soil erosion in the lower classes you have already learned about the soil erosion the different there are different reasons for soil erosion if you don't grow uh, plants uh, there will be lo loss of top soil then if there is too much rain if there is floods 
all over uh, the area there will be loss of topsoil then when it is windy it when uh, when there is a big storm it picks up everything it even picks up the top soil which causes the soil erosion now uh, the for this video we'll end the lesson here and the remaining part of the lesson will be covered in the next video that is about the forest and how to conserve the forest and then the other uh, non renewable resources will be covered later stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning i request you all to please read the textbook whenever you are free uh, whichever lessons we have completed uh, please read the textbook thank you children